Hello, this is John Allen Elementary. My name is John Thies. I'm doing the Hard Adventure Obstacle Course. I want to share some things here with uh, our fellow PE teachers and anybody else who would like to try this. We usually do this in February. Um, this is an excellent way for students to learn about the circulatory system, the role of the kidneys, the role of the heart, the role of the lungs, um, the purpose of the blood circulating through the body. When students come in, we focus on the heart, learning that the heart really is two sides. We want the kids to understand that the heart is two sides, a left and a right. One side pumps old blood, one side pumps new blood. We have a blue side of the gym today, right over here, all the way down, and then we have over here a red side. The blue side, we talk about blue being old and bad. I tease the younger kids that the blue blood isn't bad and evil, that it's just blood that's missing oxygen. You grab a blue ball, blue scooter. Anytime you go by a sign, you say it. That's the right atrium. Go through here. You're still in the atrium. You are now going underneath a door. We'll talk about that. Those are valves. Right ventricle. Following along. I put down some tape to help our students get here to the rope. Students are sitting on the scooter. They're pulling the rope. Pull, pull, pull. They get to the lungs. When they get to the lungs, a lot of times I'll stand right here. I ask the kids, where are you? And they'll say lungs. I ask them, what is the purpose of the lungs? To give us oxygen. Then they leave the lungs. They have that old ball. They know they need to put up the old ball, old scooter, and grab a bright colored basketball that matches the other side of the gym. So they grab their ball. They go from the A to the B. We do that chant several times when they come in. A to the B. So they learn that the blood always goes A to B. And whatever you have on one side of the body, on the heart, you have on the other side. The heart mirrors itself. Here's a door, valve, go through. A to the V. Ventricle, jump the hurdles. We get going into the aorta. And with this obstacle course, it only splits two ways, which is incorrect. There's supposed to be three. So this is a variation. It doesn't uh, come recommended with this uh, kit but I want to split it three ways so students know that blood goes to the brain, lower body, and upper body. If they go upper body, they take their basketball, come over, do five push-ups, and then they continue going all the way around the gym. If they want to do the lower body, we have a balance board and poly spots. Go across the poly spots and then go all the way around the gym. If they want to do the brain bear walks, get on the mat, do your bear walks with your basketball, come through and at this point you can see that all three spots all three groups come back to here this is something that I made up a couple years ago I wanted the kids to understand the purpose of the kidneys the kidneys clean and filter the blood and we have this really cool little car wash the KK sound kidney car wash KC sound so uh, it's just a quick easy alliteration a way for students to try to memorize another word and and then a lesson that has so many words already. If you look at the ground, you notice that the tape is changing colors. I was on the red side. I've been through the body. So the students will put up their ball, grab a blue ball, blue scooter, and they'll start all over. When teaching students about the atrium and the ventricle, another easy little uh, word game that I play, make an A, then tree, um, A, tree. Ventricle, we talk about, it's a hot day. You're sitting in the front seat of the car, you adjust your vent, and as you get out of the car, mom is watering the flowers and the water trickles down. So we have vent, trickle, vent, trickle. Also, when the students come in, one of the first things we do is I make them shout, A to the B. By doing this, students are learning that the heart has two sides, that the blood goes from the A to the V, that our lungs, that our kidneys, and that our blood all have a purpose. We want the kids to, to remember something here, not just think about, oh, this was fun, I did an obstacle course. We want them to really truly understand the circulatory system.